All right, thanks, Curtis. Now, one in eight Western Montana homes built during the past decade are in high wildfire areas. That's according to a study recently released by Headwater Economics. It says the data shows a dangerous trend. MTN's Mallory Peeble shares details of the study and what emergency management officials suggest. The same rural landscapes attracting many homeowners also pose a high risk. That's according to Headwater Economics. It recently completed a study based on U.S. Forest Service data for Western Montana. What we found is that um, we've doubled the number of homes in areas with high wildfire hazards since 1990. For Gallatin County, that's about 2,300 homes. Much of these areas are called wildland urban interface areas, among the fastest growing type of land use across the country. These are places that are often very prone to wildfire. It doesn't mean that we can't grow in those places or live in these places. It just means that if we're going to, we should use safer building techniques and fuels management strategies to protect our property and our lives. County fire program has also been combined with that. Patrick Lonigan, director for emergency management Gallatin County, recommends homeowners consider reviewing public data or city requirements for building safely. You may not have some of the requirements to do it, but it's oftentimes in people's best interest to design their property and their home to be resilient to the hazards they face. Two simple tips include removing tall brush growth directly around the home and using shingles which won't trap embers. Probably the best way to look at it is how can you prevent embers being thrown from a wildfire from catching something on fire and, and catching your property or your house on fire. Homes that don't attract a fire are more likely to withstand one. Reporting from Bozeman, Mallory Peebles, MTN News.